Hello everybody, how y'all been today? I hope that y'all been having a blessed day or will have a blessed day or is having a blessed day. Anyway, let's get to our Bible verse. But before we do that, I would like to start off by saying that today's app of the day is Gundam Mobile. Now, what is Gundam Mobile? You take control of America and you go fight other Americans. That's what Gundam's about. Anyway, today's daily Bible verse is Genesis 1 4. And God saw the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. Now, to me, sometimes in our lives we're going through some dark times, but there, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And I know that that's way off subject, but really, this Bible verse is so short, uh, I have to go off subject to make a long video. But yeah, and um, you know, how do we know that it's God leading us in the right direction as opposed to the devil? Well, if something feels wrong about it, if something feels uneasy about it, if something feels like it goes against what the Bible says, then it's of the devil. But if it's something that feels good, not uh, drugs or anything like that, but something that makes you feel good without drugs. Something that um, makes you feel like you're worthy or something. Something that makes you feel that uh, the Bible approves of it. You know, I believe that uh, it does God. And in many ways, it separates the light from the darkness like that too. The darkness is sin. The light is him, or he, or the right thing to do, or whatever, you, whatever you call it. Now I know that that's way off subject, but really, uh, that's what I want to talk about. Okay, so um, yeah, I decided to change some things. For Sunday, it's going to be retro games, which is games that are going to be available on the. Uh, Atari, uh, some Atari consoles, the Genesis slash Mega Drive th uh, cons consoles, and I do use emulators for that, and uh, they are officially, they're, they're official emulators, so I'm also going to I'm going to be right back. Hey guys, I'm sorry I forgot to stop the countdown timer on my end, so I just have to look on my second screen. Or I might end it early, I don't know. But anyway, sometimes, you know, we're going, it feels like we're going through a dark tunnel. And this tunnel is sin. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And that light is God. He loves us. He wants us to ask Him for forgiveness. He wants us to ask him to uh to forgive our sins, like I said earlier, for forgiveness. He wants us to turn to him, not to turn to uh all of these other things. I mean, some people say medicine is a uh, not a good thing to turn to. I disagree with that because I take medicine, and sometimes that medicine the medicine helps. I believe that like, God can use anything, including medicine, to help people. But yeah. I mean, there was a study done about, uh, what, what was it? I'm trying to remember. It was about drinking uh, wine and how that helped learning different languages. Now, I'm not encouraging drinking wine. I'm just encouraging do your own research into that. If you and don't drink too much wine, please. I don't want to hear such and such got uh too high or did something that they regret or did something else or is in the hospital because they did something to their self. I don't want to hear that. But yeah, I know that y'all can't see the whole list right now, but uh. The list right now, as it stands, this is Monday, Star Trek, Fleet Command, Tuesday, War Machines, Thursday, Wednesday, War Robots, Friday, Minecraft, by the way, there's Pocket Minecraft, 
Thursday, Minecraft, I'm sorry. Friday, GB Mobile, which stands for Gundam Mobile. Saturday is Star Force, and Sunday is Retro. Like, what do I mean by retro? I mean not like old school, like, uh, from like, the uh, let's see, uh, I guess 90s backwards. But that's not really in stone right now. All of this could change. All of this could change. Yeah, and I've been having some trouble with Minecraft, so that might change too. You know, it's just I have trouble moving around on a small screen. Because I don't have a tablet, I have my phone. And even if I have a, tab a tablet, well, I, I don't have a tablet, sorry. I think I said I don't have my tablet, but I don't have a tablet. But listen, God... He's calling you right now to repent from your sins. If you, that's what I feel, he's calling somebody to repent from their sins and to turn to him, to really mean it in their heart and to apply it to their life. That's what he's calling you to do. He's calling you to apply it to his life, to your life, and he loves you. He wants the best for you, but you see sometimes. We want to live in our own stupidity. What do I mean by that? I mean that we want to keep on making the same mistake over and over again. And you know what that leads to? Jail. That leads to killing. That leads to destruction. That leads to hurting. That leads to uh, all of this other foolishness. That leads to depression. That leads to addiction. Because... I know that some of us uh, don't have a uh, strong addiction, but me, my addiction is rupia, and the Bible says to treat our body as a temple, and it also says for the wages of sin is death. So what does that mean? That means that if I decide to like drink rupia, I deserve to die and go to hell. But then, guess what? God can forgive me for that. You see, it's not about... Uh, the sin I commit is about my relationship with God. That's what saves me, my relationship with God. Not, not the sin I commit or the good deeds I do. It's the relationship with God that we do. That's what saves us. And some people might say, Well, how can God forgive those who committed suicide? Well, like I said earlier, that is between them and God. Not them, God, and you. And I got, and, and that could be like the light at the end. Like, how, how should I put this? There uh, is hope in our life right now. There is still time to change our ways before we pass away. And I pray that we do change our ways before we pass away. Because let's face facts. A bunch of us right now are going through hard times. A bunch of us don't know when we're going to be, how we're going to be able to afford to pay the bills. A bunch of us don't know how we're going to be able to afford to feed our family members. That's what a bunch of us don't know. So let me, let me see some. I think I might be able to move this. Uh, okay, I don't think I could do it like this. Okay, so, tell you what, let me not worry about that. Let me just get out of this. That's not important right now, anyway. And for those of you who are wondering why do I use apps to uh, reach people, it's because I believe that the Bible, I believe that uh, God can use anybody, anything to reach people. I mean anything. Let me highlight it for those of you who have a small screen. But I urge y'all to, uh, to look up Bible verses for yourselves because I could be lying to y'all. I could be misleading y'all. I could be uh, misinterpreting something. And uh, some of us say, well, I only, but I only, uh, what was it? I only uh, believe in the King James Version of the Bible. 
Well, listen, the problem with that is that how it was translated. Because each and every different version of the Bible was translated a little differently. That's where you get your different verses from. And some are more accurate than others. But I'm not saying that one version of the Bible is always right and the other one is always wrong. No, I encourage y'all to do your own research into different versions of the Bible. Like, for example, what I'm using is the New International Version. Now, what I could do is I could go to uh, this one and let's see what it says. God saw that the light was good, so God separated the light from the darkness. You see, it's pretty much the same thing, except um, it's a little, it can be a little different with a few words here and there. And sometimes, some, sometimes the Bible uses words that we don't understand, so it's a good idea to see a different version. Or maybe look up the definition of a certain word. That's a good idea. Now, I think this goes out on Saturdays. Let me see. Let me make sure. I think this is whenever this goes out on Saturdays. Or Fridays. I think it might be fri Friday or Saturday. I don't remember. I just looked it up earlier. By the way, today is Wednesday. As of the timing of this recording. Friday. Oh, Friday we already have one. Okay, because it must be Saturday. Yes, Saturday. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we need to be there for one another. We need each other. As fellow mm -hmm. human beings, we need each other. And, uh, we need to work together as Christians. Like me, for instance, I don't do much, but I'm the coffee maker in the house. And I'm normally the person that makes coffee for others to drink. And to me, just to hear, hey, Harold, you did a good job with coffee, makes my day. That's the end. Just to hear that makes my day. And um, I was thinking about putting some of our stuff. I know I've been saying this before. But I was thinking about putting some of our stuff on Blu-ray. That way other people could watch it. But I'm not sure, you know, how many people in my church have a Blu-ray player. I guess I'll just have to go and ask. And today is Wednesday, so I should have, um, if I go to church, I, uh, I should have, uh, enough time to ask people. And some people will be like, why do you say if you go to church? Well, I have Tourette Syndrome, which means I have random muscle movements. And sometimes that can cause me not to focus on what's being preach, but to focus instead on myself. And, yeah, so, uh, and plus, I like to say the whole time, but it's very, very exhausting for me. Like, uh, like, it doesn't make me tired, it just pulls my muscles a lot. Because whenever I'm having my threats, if I'm having a bad threats episode, I can stay for hours. Yeah, and to me, that's where uh, God is light at the end of the tunnel. God's hope, people. God's hope for a better tomorrow. God says, well, actually, that's debatable because of, the, of Revelation or what it says at the end times. But let's face facts. Some days you're going to have good days. Some days you're going to have bad days. And that's what God says. Some days we're going to have good days, some days we're going to have bad days. Yeah. Like, uh, me for instance. 
I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I hope that I hold something better than today. Let me see something. Let me see what I'm going to be talking on. Uh, it, let me see if I have anything planned for Thursday. I should. Let me see. I'm sorry. This is last minute things, but I just want to make sure I got plans for Thursday. It's too late to pause the video. Yeah, I got, uh, G Genesis 1, 2. I got Pocket Minecraft and I got Taming the Isle for Thursday. Okay, so I don't have to worry about Taming today, okay? But for those of you who are wondering, normally all videos are done at least a day ahead of time. Like they're done, well let me tell you that right, they're done recording a day ahead of time. But the uploading is, uh, t takes like, it can take from like, uh, 6 o'clock to, uh, let's see, 3 o'clock in the morning or 4 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, that's a while. That's why I do this so early. Plus, if I did it live, then they have some days I couldn't do it. Plus, if, also if I did it live, they have some days to where, uh, well, well, yeah, like I said earlier, I couldn't do it. But, uh, because I would, I would be too busy. And I do this in my free time. And uh, a while back, I was wondering, you know, how, I have all this amazing technology, but how can I use it to serve God? I, I was wondering that whenever I got my phone, and the answer clicked, hey, why not do uh, videos about uh, apps? And I say apps and not games. Sometimes I use those terms interchangeably. But to me, an app is like maybe like a quick time, five-minute game, game that you play for five minutes or six minutes or whatever. I guess in my case, 30 minutes. But a game is like something that was released for like console and PC and that takes like many hours to complete. And I know that that excludes um, uh, like games like Fortnite, which that, that I consider a whole nother thing. But yeah, and um, listen, right now, God's calling y'all to do something in your life. I don't know what it is, but he's calling somebody to change something in his life. To get away from the drugs, the alcohol, the marijuana, and to start focusing on what he wants done. To start doing these, to start listening to these videos every day and to start studying the yeah, your own Bible if you have one. If not, y'all can y'all watching this on the internet, so more than likely y'all can download it. Uh, yeah, and uh, I urge y'all to please keep my, my family in your prayers. We're just going through so much right now. My little brother is getting state tested. Plus, we have other issues in my family that I won't go into because. Well, I didn't ask him to, but, but consider that an unspoken prayer request. Plus, my daddy has back problems. You see, he took an 11 foot fall, a uh, 14 foot fall, and he hit a, a power box in concrete, and it messed up his back, and also messed up some of, uh, like he has trouble remembering things. All of that might be due to his age, too. And my mama works at Walmart. And my sister, she uh she's getting married in like uh um about a month, hopefully. Right now we're looking for a photographer. So if y'all know anybody that lives in the uh Pine Prairie, Louisiana area, let me know. And yeah.
Yeah, so, um... Yeah. And we need to work together as Christians to help solve our problems. Because let me tell you something. It can be hard and challenging to solve our problems on our own. That's what I'm trying to get at. And, uh, and I don't mean that, like, without God. I mean that without other Christians. Because God's going to be there no matter what. But sometimes we need to meet up with other Christians for encouragement. Like, uh, let me give you an example. Okay, so we went shopping uh, last week. And I told my little brother, Hayden, make sure I don't buy nothing because I'm trying to save money. And whenever I went to buy something, he, hold, he held me accountable. And be like, Harold, you're not supposed to buy this. You're supposed to uh, save your money. And that's what we need sometimes. We need that accountability. We need it. And some of us just give in too easy. But listen, um, let's read what uh, some of these footnotes say. I don't know if I'm going to read all of them. Let's just read what A says. Hebrew, God saw the light was good, it was good. The verb saw in this passage carries the meaning of reflected on surveyed and connected note that it is a description of a reflection of God's mind. It is an opinion. Yeah, yeah. So it's God's opinion that the light was good. Or it might be angels or it might be both. But listen, even angels mess up. I mean, look at Lucifer. Lucifer, for those of you who don't know, is another name for the devil. And he, uh, he basically led, uh, God's, uh, uh, I think it was his choir. Or like he might have been a musician or something. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But he was one of the head angels. And he turned on God. And God banished him to hell. And guess what God says? That the ruler of this world is Satan. So if something seems too good to be true, it might actually be. It might actually be too good to be true. Let me see some. I need to get uh, my phone back. My uh, lock screen went on. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, a bunch of times we need to work together to help solve our problems. Like me, for instance, my problem right now is I don't get enough sleep. But I like getting up early and making my mom coffee and my dad coffee. I guess, uh... Maybe I should try to take my medicine a little bit later. Might try that. Yeah, so, um, you know, normally. Uh, we we want as Christians we want to work together. And I say that I'm sorry. I say that I make the coffee all the time in the house. A lot of times it's not me; it's my mama. I just want to throw that out there because I just realized that. And you see, if I wouldn't have said that, then that would have been a sin. Let me move something right here. And yeah. And listen, I have another unspoken prayer request. It has to do with my family. But, uh, I can't say much about it. Because if I say too much about it, then people are going to find out easily who it is. 
because uh, it's easy to find out. Yeah. And listen, right now there are people that are starving. There are people that don't know when, how they're going to be able to afford to pay the bills. They need to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that light is God and His way and His will. And He didn't say that things would be easy. He didn't say that things would be hard. But what He did say is this, He loves us. And he wants the very best for us. And, uh, yeah, recently I started saving up my money, which means I started slowing down while I was spending, which that could be due to my, what my little brother said earlier about, uh, you know, whenever I was talking about holding me accountable. We need somebody to hold us accountable for our actions. To see, like, and somebody that we can trust. That's what I feel. Because if we go to fall, they'll be like, oh, you shouldn't do that, or you shouldn't do this. Also, please keep me in your prayers. I'm looking for a movie for me and my brother to watch. We like our uh, comic book stuff. We also like, uh action movies he likes horror but i'm not putting on no horror i'm sorry but my threats act up too much and for those of you who don't know what threats is i know i think i told y'all this but threats is uncontrolled muscle movement and it has to do with any extreme emotion and it also can happen randomly Yeah. But I just like getting up early and getting my videos done and uh, focusing on what God wants me to focus on. Because a bunch of times we focus on what we want done. We focus on the shows that we want to watch. We focus on the entertainment that we want to see. We focus on the music that we want to hear. And sometimes that's godly. But uh, let's face facts, a lot of times it's not, at least for most people. And how do we uh, reconcile that? Well, if it's of this world, by, by, uh, what I mean by that is it, if it has like adult themes, then it's probably not of God. So some people might say, oh, well, it's just words. Don't worry about it. Well, those words have meanings. And those meanings can destroy people's lives. Just because it sounds good doesn't mean it is. And I'm sorry, I had audio issues in uh, an episode of uh, the Biblical Podcast a while back, and I didn't realize that until after. And it's too late now to reshoot. Well, I guess I could, but it would take a while. Plus, I got some other stuff planned. So, yeah. I, I guess I could, but I got other stuff planned. Which, no, I'm not putting God's stuff off. It's just I have other biblical stuff planned. I, uh, I got to play an, uh, a game today. Well, actually, I might have to play three games today. Well, no. No, just two. If I... Well, I could, uh... Like, because I'm recording way ahead of time, I still have plenty of time. But I just want to get them done. Yeah, I still got to do Fridays and Sundays. And I'm not sure whenever I'm going to be taking a break. I might take a break Sunday. Uh, while, uh, you know, I might have to because I got church twice. 
I got church in the morning and at night if I decide to go. And listen, it's not that I'm putting God's stuff off, it's just my Tourette's at them. Plus, a lot of times, I, well, recently I started watching it online services. And some people are like, why don't you do, uh, and I said this before, but why don't you do, uh, videos live, like, uh, you know, live as in live streaming. Well, A, that takes up my internet speeds, so that's, and, uh, it can kick people off. B, it doesn't look as good. And C, I can do it whenever I feel like it. Or whenever I feel ready to. Which I, they can be both, you know. Okay, we're at, uh, 31 minutes. So, yeah, so, uh, if y'all have any prayer requests, let me know. Even if it's unspoken prayer requests. And listen, if y'all don't tell me, hey, I want this in a video, hey, I don't want this in a video, I'll ask y'all, or, or I might say I have an unspoken prayer request. I can't tell y'all why or who it's for. But yeah, like I did today. Because sometimes it can be obvious who it's for if I go into the little details, even if I don't say the name. Plus, it's just nice to have people's permission to uh, do, uh, to put, uh, you know, what, to put, uh, you know, it's just good to have their permission. And sometimes uh, I can pray with them over the phone. My phone number's in the description, by the way. Or I can pray with them uh, over uh, the internet. I, I, I do have uh, the only, uh, let's see. The only app I support that I use that supports video chat is a messenger from Facebook. That's it. And if y'all don't want a video chat, y'all can just chat with me through Messenger on Facebook. Which is, you know, just typing my name in and uh just searching for my name and just typing and just telling me something in the chat on Facebook and if you use the PC. Because I also use this messenger. But also, uh, let me get, let me tell you what I do every day. I do a biblical podcast. I do two gameplay videos. One of which is Taming the I.O. The other one is a mobile game. I do, uh, let's see. Touch by an angel. Slash. Whatever. Like, if it's a, uh. TV show or movie that I feel led to do, I'll do that instead. And then, that's it. I think, let me think. Yeah, I think that's it. And all videos will be live by 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. And I chose, I, at first I had 8 o'clock, but 8 o'clock was cutting it way too close. Because YouTube was having trouble processing it. And I want, whenever my videos are done, like I normally wait till they are in HD to share them. But yeah. Plus, you know, it gives me more free time to do the things I want to do. But on the downside, it can lead to my computer getting hot. And I'm not talking about catching on fire. It doesn't do that. But, but that gives me more time to, like, in my free time. Now that I have more free time, I can go outside. I can uh, call my family members. Also, I have another unspoken prayer request. And I think about it. It's just, my family is, not just my family, but we all are going through so much. I'd like to say my family is going through so much, but we all are. 
some of us right now who live in China are still seeing lockdowns, are still seeing disruptions to the supply chain, are seeing computer prices go sky high along with gas, and um, you know we're still having to pay bills, and everything just seems like it's going up. And the birth rate right now is so low to where in the U.S. to where the population wasn't aging, then we would be shrinking. Like, what do I mean by aging? I mean, like, living like past, uh, I guess past 50 or 60. And uh, if we went for that, then our population would be shrinking. And some people might say, there's a ton of people in the U.S. Yes, but you have to remember something. A lot of these people are immigrants. And some of them have... Uh, I'm not saying that they're all crooked, but some of them have uh, smuggled drugs. They smuggle cocaine. They smuggle alcohol. They smuggle marijuana. I mean, I'm not saying they all do. And pretty soon... If this keeps on, then when in my lifetime, there will be more foreigners born. Well, well, let me take that back. Right now, we're seeing more foreigners born than uh, citizens that have been living here for like, I don't know, like 10 plus years. Like having kids. That's what I mean, having kids. Not born, but having kids. There are more for foreigners coming over here that are young, then there are people that, uh, you know, like, how should I put this? There are more young, there are more young people coming into the U.S. than there are young people, uh, that was natively born in the U.S. Or some of, uh, some of, uh, the, some of the young people have relatives that are foreigners. And how do we stop that? Well, we start living our lives biblically. And listen, um, there was a study, uh, well, there was an estimate done a while back, and they said that each new couple should have 2.3 children, or it might be 2.2. But why, why, how can you have 0.2 or 0.3 of a child? Well, it's because that's an estimate over an entire nation. So, you know, you're not going to have, uh, with that, you, it's going to be hard to have a whole number. But anyway, let's get back to the Bible verse. God saw that the light was good. You see, God, God likes his own creation sometimes. But sometimes he allows us to stray away because of free will. Because he loves us. And we're not mindless robots. Or, you know. And uh, one day, you might actually have more robots than there are humans. I mean, right now, we're already seeing an explosion in smartphone technology. But that might slow down due to the global semiconductor shortage. And for those of you who wonder, what's a semiconductor? Uh, it basically, um, I, I don't really understand it myself, but it basically helps the computer, it, uh, it goes on, like, motherboards and stuff, and it helps computers and smartphones and other electronics. And being said, we're having a shortage of that, it's affecting, I believe it's going to affect, eventually, all electronics. And Intel says, from a source I heard, I don't know if this is true or not, but that the charge will not end to the year 2024. So yeah, things are going to be rough. Prices is going to be high. Uh, the prices of, the, of uh, gadgets is going to go up. Now, I'm not saying go right now and buy yourself a brand new computer before the price goes up. I'm not saying that. 
I'm saying that we need to spend our money wisely. And some of us, yeah, the Bible, God might be saying, hey, you need to buy a computer right now. But for others, you might be saying, hold off. You can use that money to feed your family. You can use that money to help the poor. You can use that money to help widows. By the way, uh, let me give you advice. Let's say if somebody says that they need, I don't know, ten dollars for diapers, and you don't really trust them, go and buy the diapers yourself and give that to them. Because a bunch of times they'll use that money instead of diapers that you give them for drugs, for alcohol, for marijuana. I mean, I know it doesn't sound logical, but that's what they do. Yeah. And what I might do is I might take the day off Sunday because it's, I'm going to have a hard time. Well, I might take the day off Monday just to uh, get recording done. Because I can't really do it Sunday because I have church. Well, re let me take it back. I have church every day with God's house because every day we're working on something. Every day. Whether that be uploading a video or filming a video or just sharing the word of God. Let me show y'all our uh, social media pages. Okay, hold on. I have a YouTube page, which is what we're going to start off on. As you can see, I like technology and video games. Not going to lie about that. I do uh, video games and biblical podcasts. And uh, I make sure that the games I have, there are certain standards I have. Like you can't cuss. You can't have too much gore. You can't have too much... Um, like you can't have any adult themes. Like, what starts with the P word that I'm not going to say? Or what starts with the S word that I'm not going to say? You can't have that. So let's go to uh, Twitter. Twitter is probably the least popular way of reaching me. Okay, I'll look at that later. Yeah, Twitter is the least popular. I just use it because it's easy for me to share from YouTube. And Facebook is right here. So on Facebook, come on now. Okay, there we go. Facebook, and then we're going to go to this. And then, uh, yeah, recently uh, I share stories like this one right here. And I, uh, I don't go on Facebook much, so. I didn't share videos. I'm, I'm just being honest. I don't go on Facebook much. And if you know me, I'm always working on some video or doing, uh, some, like trying to, like sometimes I watch Star Trek. Sometimes I watch video games. Sometimes I watch something about history. Sometimes I watch something about science. And sometimes I watch something about uh, like the different combinations of uh, those things I just listed. But if y'all have anything like y'all don't like the mic I'm using, or y'all don't like how long my videos are, or y'all think I do too many videos per day, or y'all uh, just don't like something about my videos, like maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, like, y'all don't like my retro games I play, and if y'all want me to play something else, let me know. I do take requests, by the way. And my plans can change. And because I do this way ahead of time now, I have plenty of time to, uh... Also, let me show y'all another page I recommend. This is Touched by an Angel page. It shows, um, uh, like, I like to share my videos on that, too. I don't, I'm not, um, uh, an admin of that, but, um, it's a pretty good page.
and yeah. So it's just my my family and the entire world is going through so much right now. Even with even not counting the shortages, but we're still having COVID, which I know that contributes to the shortage, but still. And a bunch of companies right now are really regretting doing uh, business overseas. And by overseas, I mean not in uh, the United States, like in uh, China or in India or in Russia, you know, somewhere like that. Because this video is filmed in the United States. I say filmed, that's an old term. Recorded is a new term. So let me just say it's reported in the United States. And yeah. My coffee's getting a little cold. I'm gonna have to uh, warm it up, I guess, maybe, or just give me some more coffee later on. But yeah. And listen, please play for me for sleep because I have like I, I fall asleep, but I don't stay asleep. I guess that's because I don't do much. I'm just being honest, I don't do much. But sometimes I like to go outside and to just listen to nature and put some Christian music on and maybe sit down on a swing and just listen to the gospel. Or sometimes I'm not gonna lie, I like to listen to, uh, to, uh, what is, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, to old, uh, theme songs from like the 90s, just to bring back some old memories. And for those of you who are wondering, what's a theme song? Well, in some shows, before, in the beginning of the episode, they have this song that goes along with it, and, uh, yeah, that's what a theme song is. Yes. That's the best way I can explain it. If y'all want a better explanation, I encourage y'all to look that up. But like, for example, Star Trek, Space, The Final Frontier, so on and so forth, up until you get to, um, you know, they show like the inside of the ship or whatever else is going on into the plot. Yeah, that that's a, a theme song. And I'm not saying the whole thing because I could get copyrighted. And recently, uh, Facebook sent me this weird notification that, like, videos from, like, 2020 and 2019 fell under their copyright claim thing. That must be new something that they, that must be something that they just implemented. Because I just got the uh, update yesterday, and yesterday was Tuesday. You know, as of the day of this recording, it was Tuesday. So, yeah, so I hope that y'all have been having a blessed day. And I hope that... Uh, and no matter what happens, that you turn to God to solve your problems. This is, it can be hard and challenging to do things on our own. I'm sorry, I'm kind of micromanaging something right here. I just want to be sure of something. Okay, yeah, so this video will go live on Saturday if I put it right. Or maybe Sunday, I don't know. But yeah. So, uh, like I said, you remember, I don't know if y'all remember this, but yeah, I just, I just talked to, in my last few videos, I talked to a little about distractions, and I just had another one. It's like we're so addicted to our phones, but, we, but what we need to be addicted to is the Bible. And what do I mean by uh, addicted to our phones? I mean addicted to sinful things. Or things that really don't make that really don't matter. 
But listen, our phones can be used for biblical things. It's just sometimes we use them for worldly things. Like to watch uh the videos like to watch uh adult themed videos or to watch uh kid shows and like some kid shows because these days you have to be careful with the kid shows that you show and we're almost out of time but yeah i just like talking about this stuff because really it helps me uh deal with this kind of stuff and i'm not sure um uh, i'm going to be doing these videos bye guys uh, I'll have to see y'all after the outro. And by after the outro, I mean, uh, I'm going to have an outro, then I'm going to have, uh, then I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, if y'all like this video and y'all want to share the word of God, y'all can like and subscribe and comment. And if y'all want to donate some money, we have a Patreon page. Now the Patreon stuff starts at $3 a month. And it goes up to $25. And the reason why we do it monthly is because that gives us an idea of what we're going to be able to make, like, for the next month. Anyway, bye, guys.